So you might be a console streamer who is looking to finally upgrade their stream and you're not wanting to just stream straight to Twitch from your console and other services like Lightstream aren't something that you want to do and you want to look at something like a mini PC or a massive tower to be able to add alerts and overlays to your stream. Well, today we're going to be looking at a mini PC and this one is around $150. This is the second time we've looked at it and I've got to say you have to stick around to the end because the results that you get for $150 are fantastic. So let me show you it. We're going to show you some footage, recording, everything. I've got a whole bunch of crap plugged into this to show you it's tapped out. Let's get into this video after a word from today's sponsor. This video is brought to you by Lightstream. Lightstream is a cloud-based streaming service where you can stream directly from your console to Lightstream and then they will re-encode your stream with professional overlays. Things like stream elements, Rainmaker.gg, a whole bunch of things like videos and graphics you can put onto your stream and never have to use a streaming PC to do these things. Right now, you can get 25% off your first three months by using my coupon code DarkendCyrus. So make sure you go ahead and visit the link in the description to go ahead and order this. And thank you to Lightstream for sponsoring this video. So as I've mentioned, I've covered this before and done a quick unboxing overview. I'll go ahead and link that video down in the description if you want to see it. But just to quickly go over it, this is an Intel N5105 Celeron processor four cores, four threads. It boosts to 2.7 gigahertz uh, all core. Um, it has eight gigabytes of DDR4 inside, as well as I think it's 128 gigabytes of, uh, of NVMe storage, maybe something like that. It also has some little attachment that you can put SSDs in the bottom of it. Anyway, none of that really matters. But what you do need to know is that there are two HDMI ports to be able to go out to your TV, and there are two USB 3 and two USB 2 ports, perfect for plugging in peripherals as well as capture cards, which is exactly what we've done today. Just so that you go ahead and know what peripherals we're using today, we're actually using the Mirabox capture card. I viewed this things over two years ago. It's fantastic. It's for less than $40. 1080p 60 capture, 4K pass through. It's great. Uh, it's going into a USB 3 slot. We're also using a USB 3 connector to my Sony ZV-1F so that we can use that as a webcam. You can also just plug in a webcam here if you wanted. This is just what I wanted to use. I also have a wireless mouse and keyboard, which looks like a little controller. It looks all cute and cool. Look at this. Oh, it's connected. And then the last thing that's connected is actually the microphone, which is this same mic that you're listening to through XLR that I'm capturing on the main PC, but it's actually connected USB as well to this mini PC and I can use it in both places. But for you, you're just seeing that I can connect a microphone to this all in one go. I'm not going to talk about how you set everything up to do this. We're just going to talk about the product and the end thing. If you want to know how to set all of this up, drop down in the comments. I might do a full tutorial on how I set up the mini PC. But today we're just going to go ahead and show you kind of the footage you can get from something like this so you can know is this a good purchase or not. The game we're playing is actually Ori and the Will of the Wisps because it does go at 60 FPS. We're going to be capturing 1080p 30 and 1080p 60 today on the best presets I can make it happen to get good quality but also a good recording and I'm gonna play those recordings for you both I'm gonna do this video in 60 frames so hopefully you can see the difference and you can see what you like and don't like from each and one last disclaimer the webcam that's connected to the mini PC is only running at 30 frames per second that's my personal choice uh, that's just for some lighting things so anyway Let's jump in. So here is the mini PC. I've MacGyvered it into a bunch of capture cards so you, you can see what I'm seeing on the mini PC. But what you actually see is Ori and the Wolf of the Wisps through the capture card. The webcam is the Sony ZV-1F right here. And I just want to go ahead and show you a few settings. One thing I will say is you are going to have to play through the pass-through to your TV, which is fine. Just get one of these cheap capture cards that allow you to do pass-through. Uh, because having the preview window open, playing through that is not not going to be the best option. It eats up a bunch of resources and on these little mini PCs, it's just a little too much. So, but I do want to go ahead and show you what my output is. For first test, we're actually going to do quick sync H264. We're going to run very fast preset and we're actually going to run this at like streaming settings. So we're going to run head 6,000 bit rate and leave latency at normal. All of this fine. We'll click apply and just so you see it, we're running at 1080p 30 FPS. So I'm going to go ahead and do a test recording and then we'll play it right here so you can see it. This is 30 FPS, 1080p right here. 
All right, I've played this game a little bit and we haven't really gotten very far, so I'm just gonna click continue. Uh, I can't hear any of the audio because I don't have a headset plugged in. You can totally do that. I just haven't plugged one in. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in. You should be able to hear the microphone. I have the game volume turned down a good bit just so that you can hear me. Hopefully the levels are right. I didn't test it ahead of time. So we're running 60 FPS on the uh, on the game Ori in the World of the Wisps. But again, this is only capturing 30 frames per second. We're just going to kind of throw just a little bit of stuff, graphics at the screen. That really shouldn't matter because we're only capturing. Uh, but... It is here. Oh no, wow, okay. Let's go ahead and take some damage, Brandon. That's great. So, really cool game. The only reason I'm doing this one is, truthfully, I didn't want to update any of the games on my Xbox to be 60. But I would have run Warzone just so that you can kind of see how that would have played, but you get the picture with this. It's fine. Um, gorgeous. You can see it's oversaturated. It's really, not oversaturated, but really nice. Okay, so this is again a test of uh, 60 FPS playing and capturing on 30 FPS. So let me kick it over to 60 frames per second so that you can see what that would look like at 60 frames per second. All right, once again, here is 1080p. We're capturing at 60 FPS. I keep looking at the wrong camera, but this is my webcam that you guys can see. Um, and so we're just kind of playing this. This is actually capturing 60 FPS right now. Um, so if you're curious what it would look like with 60, before I switched, I looked to see what the stats were, and I did not see, um, ooh, taking damage, wow, I did not see any dropped frames, any rendered frames, anything like that, that I felt would really impact performance, it said zero of zero. And I'm honestly running probably like the best case scenario, so the quality might be a little low. I think what I might do is uh, switch over to more of a balanced preset instead of very fast and see if we get better quality. I'm not really sure. I haven't reviewed the settings, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to switch over to balanced, see if we drop any frames, and uh, we'll, I'll put some footage right here for you to be able to see that. So this is again 60 FPS capturing 60 FPS. Wow! Oh! Oh no! Whoa! Oh! 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 Oh no! Uh, ah! Okay. All right. Now I'm capturing 60 FPS. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's switch over. Okay. Now we are on still quick sync. This is H.264. We are playing 60 FPS. We're on the quality. Excuse me, not quality. The balanced preset. And I'm pretty sure we could probably go higher because, again, I didn't see any dropped frames. <laughs> I keep looking at the wrong camera. But I didn't see any dropped frames, and this is 60 FPS. And so if you are, uh, if you're looking to stream to Twitch, 1080p, 60 FPS, this is a really viable option. Now, when you start adding a bunch of overlays, this is the one thing I would say. If you start adding a bunch of overlays, um, you could start seeing some performance dips there. So I would keep this, and I was able to stream with one stream elements overlay. So something like, uh, you know, your alerts from like stream elements, or if you're gonna use something from stream labs, I try to keep it to maybe one or two. Um, but honestly, with stream elements, you don't have to put too many things on there. Um, and then at the same case, if you start putting more on there and you're like, oh no, I wanna put stuff, just lower your FPS down. 1080p 60 is actually not that crazy viable on Twitch, I would recommend you actually start 720p 30. I know that sounds crazy and everyone wants 1080p, but truthfully, um, you know, if you learn about transcoding and everything that comes with that, you're not always guaranteed for people to see your 1080p 60 um, and transcode it down. And if they have bad internet or whatever the case, and you don't get that, <laughs> they're not going to be able to watch you because they might not be able to stream 6,000 bit rates solid. Anyway, always a thought. I would personally start out 720p 30. But you can see this is totally capable. And um, being four cores with quick sync, you could probably do some content creation, some editing on this. Um, you know, whatever the case. All right, so this is on the balance preset. Hopefully this gives you an idea of what this is. And um, let me wrap up this and see if I have any final notes after I review some of this footage. Give me just a moment. <laughs> quick sync is a very impressive even on the fast priest the this is very fast 
This is really impressive. I mean, look at this. This is probably like best case scenario on this console using quick sync, which is allowing the GPU to accelerate, etc. The quality, look at the paused frame. So I hope that was helpful to see whether or not a mini PC like this Camry PC is something for you. And honestly, I'm really impressed. Uh, not only the quick sync do an amazing job at quality. Um, <laughs> I'm actually really blown away that it did. Yes, it'll do 1080p 60, which means you could stream 1080p 60. If you want to pick up one of these, check the link in the description. They are Amazon affiliate links. They do help support the channel. But I'm going to leave a few versions of the N5105 chip. You don't have to get this exact model. So check out ones that you might think have some other options or a look that works or whatever the case. They do come where they can mount to the back of your TV and they're light enough. You could probably just like double-sided tape it to the back of your TV and just hide it out of the way. Anyway, really good option. I'll leave a link for everything that I've used today, the capture card, uh, the controller, all of this, if you are curious and want to see. Anyway, uh, hope to see you in the next one. And I'll go ahead and link on screen somewhere the uh, the other video. So you can go check out the first one where we unboxed it and you get to see what comes in the box of this. That's the whole point of an unboxing video, Brandon. Anyway, I'll see you over in that video. Thanks, guys.